How's it going, everybody? Justin from JK Coins here. Um, just doing an update on everything that I've been collecting lately. Uh, got two rounds here. Tough to see, but there are two rounds of uh, copper from the Zombux. Hey, go away. And then I got this for free, kind of, because I bought my first PCGS graded uh, coin outside of the dime, the West Point dime. The price is too good to pass up and I was surprised with a little piece of copper, an ounce of copper. Uh, this just came in the mail today. It is Thessalian League, first and second centuries BC. I just wanted something really old. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's kind of tough to see. Let's see if we can get a little bit. Got a horse there. And then there's the front right there. Hopefully that's gonna get a little bit better, but I gotta hold it. Hmm. Figure this out. Stay. I'll move on to silver rounds. I got quite a few. Kinda went on a spinning spree here. But uh, trying to get my wife into it, so got a Darth Vader. Eagle, uh, got a New Zealand round. I have the fern leaf tattoo for the New Zealand All Blacks because I used to play rugby. My favorite, Privy Proof Maple Leaf. Another eagle, uh, Republic of Austria. Kookaburra. My wife played basketball in college, so got uh, an MJ. Silver Round, Britannia, and the Canadian, uh, I believe it's a bald eagle, some kind of eagle. Sorry, oh, let me get organized here for a second. Uh, really got into the currency though, big time. Just got these two right here, these are uh, two, just two red notes. They're series 1963A and they're consecutive numbers. Got it for a decent price. Uh, picked these up at my local coin shop. I paid a dollar each for them. They're from 1944. I love World War II era currency. And then this one down here, I had to pick it up. I got it for a dollar plus shipping. Um, this is the first note that I was ever given, but it was the $50,000 version, 50,000 mark version. So when I was a little kid, I remember that guy's face. So when I saw it, I just had to have it. Uh, it's just inflation currency. Go to these right here. What I'm trying to do is, I'm really aiming towards $5 old notes. Uh, I basically just want one of each. So one of the A, B, C for each year, and then one of the star notes for each year. Uh, I really went heavy with the red notes so far, but these are the blue I have. 1934A, 1934D, 1953A, and 53B. Alright, and here we go into the red notes. 1928F, 28C, 28E, and then we go to 1963, 1953A, 53B, yeah, and this is a 53 star note, 53A star note, 53B star note, 53C star note, and then there's a regular 53. And then here's one of my favorites. This is a North African $5 note from 1934. Uh, it's emergency currency from World War II. It's one of my favorites. And I'm from the Chicago area, so decided to pick up one of the 1929s. So for the fives, you could say I'm off to a solid start. Uh, other emergency currency, I got one of the $2 Philippine pesos, two pesos. 
But here is probably my favorite little section. I got the five dollar. It's starting to be a short snorter, kind of. Uh, maybe, yeah. Which is just a bunch of signatures. Got a uh, Kansas City large five. And then I ended up picking up some Confederate currency and it really scratched my itch. So I just wanted one from each year that the Confederacy existed. So this one is 1863. This one is 1861, 1862. And this is one of those canceled notes where it's got the two holes in it. Don't know too much about it. Uh, in 1864, and then here's my gorgeous wood chopper five from 1907. Gorgeous note. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, what I picked up in probably the last couple weeks. I'll be honest. Uh, it's been like Christmas for a couple weeks here, getting something, a few things in the mail every day. Um, found my first gold. Found a 10 karat gold necklace and pendant detecting but that's about it uh until next time see y'all later keep hunting